can gum up the system, we can clog it up, we can essentially monkey wrench it by stopping and taking plea deals and encouraging our friends to not take the plea deal. So it's Tuesday, we're doing the Don't Take the Plea Deal outreach. Today, I'm doing Don't Take the Plea Deal outreach, but I also brought some Living on Tour flyers. We are doing Don't Take the Plea Deal outreach. Spiffy uh, trifolds that were designed by uh, Mike McLean and uh, some other folks up here. And so they're originals. So see the Evolution Fund and Free Keen uh, graphics on the back. And on the inside is a lot of detail. And you can go to tools.freekeen.com. You can actually download a PDF of this. And there's two different versions. There's one that's specific to New Hampshire, and there's another one that's national. So this is something that is pretty easy to duplicate uh, on a local basis. You don't need a, a whole lot of people to, to do this. I would recommend that if you're going to do it in your area that you do have more than one person, maybe two, three people, especially for a little while while they get used to you because you may have a police response that could be negative in the beginning. Like around here, they know who we are. It's no big deal. Uh, but essentially the, uh, the job is to greet people as they, uh, as they come to work and also to greet the, uh, the victims of the court as they come in as they are in your area and all across the country to deal with a bunch of mostly BS charges like possession of marijuana or open container or you know you name it speeding tickets etc so this encourages them to uh, to not take the plea deal which the people in court will make them an offer uh, it'll sound good because the what they're facing is pretty overwhelming it's pretty scary and so then they give them this plea deal where it's a much reduced sentence and they can just, you know, get it over with and they can go and pay the fine or if they're too poor, which many of them are, they can go and get on a payment plan and then pay 20% more because they're on a payment plan and it's all about extracting as much money as possible from all the people that are coming in without actually having to do any kind of work, without actually having to uh, you know, to, to build a case and to present a case in front of a court or in front of a jury, etc. So this basically just encourages people to say no to the plea deal, take something to trial, even if it's a $5 parking ticket, to make it so the state, calling themselves the state, have to spend whatever amount it costs them to take your ticket or your charge to a trial, actually have to prove their case, come up with discovery, call the witnesses, take an hour of their time, maybe more than an hour, and that way it's costing them money to deal with you if they, if they write out these tickets. And the idea is if more people were to do that, it would really crush the system because at least here in New Hampshire, and maybe it's true in other places, uh, around here, they're very, uh... Mark, so would you like to read today about court? Thank you very much. So around here, the court system is so uh, loaded up <coughs> that they actually can't afford to run the system for a whole month, so they have to take one day off every single month that they're not paying their employees, it's called a court furlough day. They've been doing this now for probably about a year, and you know, the budget situation hasn't gotten better for them. So having 5% or 10% of cases actually not take the plea deal could really make it so that they just have to start dropping charges left and right. And in fact, that's what we've seen happen here when folks have for instance, got a parking ticket and not taken the deal and demanded a trial, they've dropped most of those folks' tickets.